Hi, I'm Sam, Sam I am, Neelan, and I wanted to make some videos because videos have helped me. <laughs> I am going to start juicing, and I thought it would be fun to catalog my journey because I've seen a couple other blogs and a couple other videos of people who have done that, to whom I say thank you. But I have extracted from each of those things that have been helpful, and I thought I would include them all in one. For those of you who are like me, who don't totally care about health, but you feel like you should do a little bit more than what you're doing, um, that's kind of the position I am. Here's a little history on my um, health life, I guess. Um, I've been fat my whole life. Yeah, I was a fat kid, a fat grown-up. I'm still a grown-up. I am not a dieter. I'm not into that. There have been three times in my life that I have lost a significant amount of weight, and the third time being the most recent. As of today, I've lost 59 pounds. How I did that was on a different system having nothing to do with juicing. That's called HCG, which is a totally different video series that I haven't done, and maybe a lot of other people have, so you can check that out. But if you are familiar with HCG, I just finished my second round, and I'm going to incorporate juicing into like my future hopefully, for health. Okay, so today's Saturday, and I intend to start juicing on Sunday. So I'm not going to be juicing in this video, but I wanted to give you a kind of, I don't know if it would be a top 10, I don't know if it's 10 points, of how I prepared to start juicing, because that would have been helpful to find a video like that for me. So the first thing I did several weeks ago, haphazardly kind of stumbled into it, was I watched the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead by Joe Cross. You've probably heard of it if you're interested in juicing at all. I don't know anything about juicing, I don't really care about juicing, but I liked his video and I liked that it was a personal journey, so I went for it. Started watching some videos, started doing a tiny bit of research. I have another full-time job, so I didn't want to make this my career, but I kind of bought into it. So the first thing I did is I watched that documentary, and if you haven't seen it, I would recommend that. The second thing that I did, besides all that research, is that I started trying to figure out what juicer I wanted. Here's the one I ended up with. It's a big old beast of a juicer. Huh? Okay. And this is, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called, the Icon. Um, it was a big drama with Bed Bath & Beyond. Since that video, everybody wants the Breville juicers. This is a Breville juicer. And I tried to buy the cheapest one possible, which was $149. That got a ton of great reviews, and it sold out in the whole world. And it turns out Breville has discontinued it and recalled them all because they're improving it or something. So then I tried to go to the next one up. A lot of drama there with Bed Bath & Beyond. The bottom line is, this is the one I got. I only paid $120 for the first juicer with my 20% off coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond. And through a series of faults on Bed Bath & Beyond's part, they kept upgrading me to this. This is $299. I never would have paid for this on my own because, again, I don't care enough about it. But for $120, a $299 juicer that's supposed to, you know, change your life and do your laundry and all that, great. That's the second, third thing I did. The next thing I did is this morning I went to my local, it's called Valley Produce here where I live, and they have a lot of produce from around the world, a lot of foods from around the world, etc. I bought all of this. Um, for $47.58. So just to highlight briefly, kale, not all of this will be used for juicing, but kale, avocado, tomato, ginger root, which I've never used before, but apparently it's almost in every recipe. Also, I kind of hate almost everything on this table too, just so you know, that's how willing I am to do this. Chard, huge bag of spinach. Many of the recipes call for handfuls of spinach, so I got that for $2.99, which I think is good. Apples, pears, carrots, celery. These apparently are in a lot of the recipes. The Granny Smith apples, which I don't like in real life, but my juicy life I probably will. Lemon. This is for my prep storage. Once I wash all this, I'm gonna store it in bags. And that's in cucumbers. For 50 bucks, it's pretty awesome. I intend for this to last me about a week to a week and a half of juicing, I hope. And then I'll supplement with just regular food, probably different proteins and fruits. So um, that's what I did on that. I'm gonna wash it all, I'm gonna prep it, put it in bags, and then tomorrow I'm gonna start juicing. A couple of tips that I would give just on what I've learned so far is that all of the, this produce came in bags and you should save them all, I save them here, because you'll use them 
in this section of your juicer that catches all of the pulp. So the juice comes out here and the pulp comes out here and you have to throw it away. Might as well put it in a bag so that you don't have to wash another thing. And that's what I have so far. So my next videos will show you what the juicing was like. Thanks for joining me. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I don't know that I'll have the answers. Um, one of the other things I wanted to highlight is the reason, one of the main reasons that I'm doing juicing, not only to supplement my health from here on out, but also I don't like vegetables at all. Um, I would never take the time to eat any of this except maybe celery with peanut butter on it. So the fact that I want to do this is simply because I'm lazy and I don't want to chew vegetables. I don't want the taste of vegetables in my mouth. And juicing seems like, by everyone's testimonial, it seems like the best way to go because you get nutrients in your body the fastest without all of this chewing effort because I don't really want to do any of that. So that's it for now. Um, goodbye. Goog. P.S. I know in the world of editing that I could edit this in somehow, but I've never done a video and I've never posted it on YouTube, so um, I'm, I'm an infant when it comes to this. Here's one of the things I wanted to include that I did for my prep. I went to Joe, Joe Cross's website from Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and he has, he has a whole system called Reboot, which is not what I'm doing. I'm not doing a juice fast. I'm including other foods in it, in my diet, but I downloaded from him his kind of like top recipes. The main one that's really popular is called Mean Green, and then there's about four or five other ones that are on that same page. So I just copy and pasted, printed them off, put them on here because I thought that's what I'm going to do. I need someone to tell me what to do. I don't want to create stuff. I don't want to be inventive. I also, when I got the Breville juicer in their manual, it came with what speeds to do the fruits and vegetables on. So high speed or low speed. This one only happens to have two high and low, but some juicers have, you know, one through five or whatever. So again, I don't, I'm lazy and I don't want to be guessing on all this and I don't want to reinvent the wheel. So I just, Again, copy and pasted that and put it here, and then I put it in a laminate sheet protector that I'll keep near my juicer until I know how all this stuff works. But I'm guessing that if you're like me, where you don't really care enough about all this, but you just want to make it worth your time, you'll probably want to do something like this. And scene.